Wherever you are watching us, this is Sports This Morning, Richie from Channels, Television Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. Do you also know that we're celebrating 21 years of professional broadcasting? Yeah, that's what we do. We set the standards. Well, right now, we're talking sports and it comes with so much fun. You listen to Coach Imama and um, he was breaking down league football in Nigeria. He says he's not bothered about um, Inugu Rangers and their stance at the table. He says in the next game, they will dribble some people, shoot some shots and see where they will take you from there like that. Toby Manuel joins us now to continue this Toby, good to have you on the program. Uh, great. What mm. a wet morning. Yeah, I know, I yeah, know. Really? And then, bam, yeah. Coach Mama, I then tried to make it rain some more. <laughs> no, no. But it's all good. He said so much about it. Rani was very sincere, Toby, that we need to do more to meet the standard of those foreign based professionals. Yeah, Imama is a coach that's uh, come to prove that he has what it takes to, to lead a team. Uh, be, from the beginning of the season, he has been modest in his aspiration. He, that's why it has helped him not to put pressure on, on, on his players and on the team. He have young players who are ready to play for him and also... And now that the state government saw that the team is doing well, yeah. they had no choice than to support. encourage him and support right. him. Uh, uh, the, the, the match of the weekend, the biggest match against Rivers United, nobody envisaged that it's going to be a 4-0 uh, whitewash against a top team hmm. who are title contenders also. But the good thing about his team, even till the last day, just like Leicester City uh, uh, coach Ranieri was saying, they are just yeah. enjoying themselves. Yeah. It has helped him to take away pressure from his players. He's just let his players go there. And he's a coach that understands what it takes to lead a young team, build a team. The team is rather is under pressure because they've not won the league for how many years. But rather than he look at the positive aspect of it and also his engagement with the national team, like when he went to Spain, he saw the rhythm, he saw the pace. He, he's a coach you need to you don't want to leave when you're talking to him because he's so vast with mm. information yeah. and he's a practical coach. He's not there to tell you, okay, this is what, or, or in philosophy, God, you, you never hear him say, by God's grace. Mm. You never hear him to hide under the uh, all things be equal, trying to just put, he tells you what he feels about the team. And it's a good thing that the Rangers are doing well. For the Nigerian team, he also talked about uh, the, the, the pace and the standard of local players. And when the players went to play in Spain, they were able to see that Playing professional football is different from playing local league, yeah. and, and uh, it has also helped the team and the, the knowledge of the league players. So it's a good thing Imama knows what he's saying. I wish him just success, but he has a very uh, tight game against uh, Wiki Tourist, a tough great match, and the last match at home. Uh, against El Kanemi mm. is going to be a great match. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Toby, yeah, quickly, I mean, you as an editor, I mean, um, if Rangers wins mm. uh, the title, or uh, a team like Wicked Taurus and wins the title, which would be the more sensational headline? <laughs> I mean, you, are you as an editor, <laughs> no, I'm looking at no, you no, 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 Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> but, but, but it should have been I mean, matter. when you want to cast your headline, which one will be more juicy? Mm. Which one will, you know, grab the attention of, mm. you know, no, newspaper no, to, readers? Wait, wait. To, to be fair on both teams, uh, Wiki has done well. Uh, they, they, they've done well this season, mm. and uh, even Rangers. But uh, the sensational aspect of it is because Rangers have not won the league for a very long time. And that's why a lot of people will want to say, see Rangers. But for me, Wiki, R Rangers, yeah. any one of them, I don't want to cast any But headline. Wiki, they haven't won uh, it at all. No, no, no but, but it's good for them mm. because Wiki also started w with a good pace, trying to to just start getting their matches gradually, winning their points from home, winning at home, and also getting some away draws yeah. and getting some points. That is the beauty of the game. Yeah. If you want to be a champion, you must be ready to play tough games and go to tough grounds and get points from there. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's what okay. it is. I'll tell you, before we continue, <laughs> maybe take a look at the papers. Let's oh. play some golf. Yeah, surely. I mean, uh, it looks like Rory Makara is back Fantastic. Yeah, to his best. Okay, it looks like he's back <laughs> to his best because finally he's won his um, first PGA Tour title mm. in 16 months. Wow. That's a long time. We remember Rory Macro ahead of the Olympics and made some disparaging comments about Olympic golf. Um, a lot of golf fans don't really like it. You understand, you should understand. <laughs> a lot of the top golfers opted that because yes. of the Zika virus. But it's, uh, it's all good because the, we had a very good, uh, fantastic Olympics. Yes, uh, uh, we, had, we saw golf coming back yeah. after several years of absence. And it was a great opportunity. Macro is back. It's good mm -hmm. for for the competition of the game because yes. it, it, it became so uh, synonymous with having just one player dominating for a very long time yeah. and another era young people will come another person will just come up and stop but it's good Macora is back mm. it, it, it's good for golf yeah it is good for golf uh, and Jason Day is still the world number one but Macora it looks like he's about to make a move on that particular position let's see how Macora won his first PGA Tour title in 16 months You know, I, 
I think if if you had asked, if you had it said to me after three holes on Friday that I'd be sitting up here addressing you guys as, as the winner of this tournament, I would have told you to go somewhere. I think, um, but I, I mean, it's just incredible you, th this game how how quickly things can change and how quickly things can turn around. And uh, it's been a great lesson for me this week, you know, not to get down on myself to uh, stay patient. Um, you know, as I said, after after three holes on on Friday, I was you know there was so much going through my head, and and you know none of those things um, involved sitting beside a trophy at the end of the week. So it's just been incredible. You know, I I played some great golf after that. I mean, 19 under par for my last 69 holes, and in, in, on this golf course in these conditions, I'm very proud of myself uh, for that. Rory McIlroy back to winning ways yes. and entire golf fans still saying, particularly those that followed golf at the Olympics. Olympics yeah. uh, come out and say you're sorry because it was like he's not responsible for the sport. He said those comments. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he made yeah. some really, really strong comments. I mean, talked about how um, um, Olympic golf is not the pinnacle uh, <laughs> of the career for a lot of golfers. Yeah, and, know. You know, so yeah, but yeah, it's good to see him back to winning ways. I mean, he's one of the best on tour along alongside uh, the likes of uh, Jason Day, uh, Eric Stenson. You know, um, so yeah, it's good to see Rory McIlroy back. It's good. Uh, we we'll let us just uh, put behind the issue of the Olympics yeah, because uh, yep. he's, he's one of those uh, moments. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of them came out to apologize yep. and to say because one safety is like you having uh, a security issue in, in, in a in a tournament. You uh, you see athletes and other top officials trying to opt out. But for him as a golfer, he was just being fair on himself. Uh, he just wanted to be in a place that he would be sure of competing and also will be his rest assured while well, competing. But it's, it's all said and gone. Uh, let's just hope for the best. Okay, yeah. Okay, from golf now, Austin, I think it's time to look at the papers, right, right? right? I mean, a lot of headlines here. Uh, Toby, uh, I'll get you talking on, um, we'll start with sports in life. And uh, okay, Manchester Derby, I think it, it is time to start talking about that. It's on Saturday, you know, launch time kickoff, and we have a referee, Mark Klatzenberg, named referee. I mean, this guy's winning streak continues, you know, from last year, you know, uh, officiating the FA Cup, the FA Champions League. Now it's got the Manchester Derby. Yeah, Klatzenberg, very, very good referee, but a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people know him for controversies. Uh, uh, but, but in the past, we've seen what he, he, he's done. He has the capacity to handle the match, the big match, one of the biggest derby in Europe, and uh, the biggest derby in in in, in England. World, yeah. yeah, so it's going to be very very competitive this time around because we have a coach in Jose Mourinho mm. who is leading Manchester United. Right. Then we have another technocrat wow. in Pep Guardiola mm -hmm. leading Man City. A lot of people are, to. want to see what these people are bringing to table because in Spain, both of them they've always been rivals. Now coming to bring the, the rivalry to England is going to be in, in fact, it's going to be the most watched match over the weekend yeah, across really. the, glo the globe because of now we're seeing a Manchester United building a new team and Man City with a new set of players or even though with some of those old players so it's going to be wow if you miss this match then you, you, you're missing missing out <laughs> entirely at the weekend I mean Toby sounded very excited yeah. already no, 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 you see, even though it's a few days away I mean Toby let's look at the Nigerian angle to the story that there's a rider here still on the Manchester derby Iyana Chow to lead City's attack mm. against Man United obviously Sergio Aguero is oh. banned you know, um, after that apparent elbow, uh, Winston Raid. I mean, do you think um, Pep is actually going to select Iana Chow to lead the attack, or him actually go with a false nine like he used to do when he was, when he was at Barcelona? No, for for Pep to keep Iana Chow, there will be a lot of speculations on the 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 stain of Iana Chow at Man City. It's just like you're talking about Mikel. Mikel, for the record yesterday, we, Mikel has survived 44 transfer windows. So now, now for Iena Cho coming to, for Pep Guardiola to retain Iena Cho shows that uh, he has uh, what it takes to play in the team. Also remember, with uh, uh, Boni went on loan, Sami Nasri went on loan because of Iena Cho. Now, 
Kun Aguero is, is, is not eligible to play this match because of the three-match ban. And now, this is an opportunity. And the young man is, has proven that he had what it takes to play at the top stage. It's just for him to just enjoy himself and not put unnecessary pressure, pressure on him. We saw what he did. A fantastic goal for the Nigeria Super Eagles at the weekend. And now, he's there as an opportunity for him to play against Manchester United, against Moreno. Yeah. Just, uh, just one word, uh, Toby. Does it start against United on Saturday? Start, uh, starts from the bench or starts. He has what it takes. Player. He's a super player. We've seen what he did from the bench. We see what he did when he also played as starting because it's about EA nature. It's about believing in youthfulness. It's about giving opportunity to young players to excel, like it's been done in Spain. We saw Rashford if, for, for, for Man U. We saw young players, even Tio Walcott when he was in Arsenal, even Southampton as a young player. So it's an opportunity for okay. these coaches to believe in this young man. Yeah, fair point. Uh, Toby, uh, there's a shocker still on. Uh, sports in life, okay. I don't know if you're gonna call it a shocker. Uh, Messi, <laughs> Messi says, says yeah, doesn't like football. My son doesn't <laughs> like football. Is he like mean, football playing on, on, on the yeah, team? He doesn't game. like football. Yeah, What's yeah. going on there? You know, I it's mean, natural. Son, it's natural for you to have. Uh, no, no, you know, it's natural. Sometimes uh, some of these great players, their, their their sons or their kids, doesn't take to their sports. Okay. Why we see some player? You see, see Ronaldo's son is playing football and it's fantastic. You see some Nigerian players. Also, their player, uh, their son taking to the Amokachi twins. They're doing well. Still, Kucha's son also. Okay. We've seen, uh, so it's so, but, but it's just one of those things. Naturally, his son should have taken to football. So it's time for Lionel Messi to have another son. Okay, let's <laughs> move on now. There's a very serious one. Serious one on um, uh, Yaya Toure set for January pre-contract right. deal. Go. Yaya Toure, uh, you pre predicted uh, some time ago that he was going to leave uh, Manchester City. It didn't happen that way. He's still at City, but then he's been left out of the squad and for the FA Championship. Uh, 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 His agent is out the same. The agent uh, is totally humiliating his uh, clients. And what do you think about this uh, situation? I, I blame the agent. You saw the handwriting on the wall. Yes. Before then, even when Pep was uh, appointed as to, to lead Man City, his agent has come out to say Pep is not, uh, 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 Yaya is not staying. Mm -hmm. And Yaya also, because of the past relationship yeah. they, they, they had with Pep when we were, we were at uh, Barcelona. Barcelona yeah. But now, you had the opportunity, you saw the window, it's just like you asked, just uh, allow himself to play one, one Champions League that have locked his destiny. Because he had a lot of clubs who wanted to sign him for, yeah. uh, for, for the Champions League. But because it's cup tie, nobody wants to sign a player That's that is right. cup tie. Now, mm -hmm. but, but for for Yaya Ture, yeah, yeah. he had the opportunity around the world. Yaya can play one of the top big teams yeah, in, in England, yeah, in Spain, Spain, in Italy, or even in, uh, in France. In, but he had the opportunity, he wasted it, and he, the, the agent is now lamenting. Let's try and fill this one, <laughs> continue where I've come to the sports yes. life front page of the complete sports. Um, Eagles to play Algeria in Uyo, so we're going back to Uyo uh, to regroup in Abuja for Zambia game. Eagles to NFF. We won't fight over match bonuses. Nigerian star Sean, rebellious attitude for World Cup ticket. Now should get to talking, uh, Toby. And then um, Raw, Eagles strikers, will score goals versus Zambia, Algeria. That's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I start from the Roy angle. Uh, we, we've seen for a long time a, a team that have, they are creating chances. Now, whether they make use of the chances is another issue. But for the first time in the long run, because the creativity aspect of the Eagles has been the lacking point, the final ball. At the midfield, the center, we, then we, we, we were not too sure of the role Mikel plays, yeah. whether he has an attacking midfielder or defensive midfielder, even with the combination of Onazi. But now what we've seen, we've seen an Ian Nacho going forward and also Mikel going forward. Why uh, Onazi stay, stay back to, 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 to stay in the back line? But the situation here is that the, 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 if we had uh, Mike, uh, sorry, Musa mm -hmm. and Moses taking off those chances, we wouldn't have gone to this day. I believe in this team. I believe in the coaching crew. Wow. I believe in NFF, what they are doing. But let us just give them time. Let us just not just put pressure on them. They will score goals. But the good thing, they are creating their chances. But they should be careful because we don't have the luxury of experimenting. Now he knows his players, yeah. he knows his on your he has opportunity to push them against Algeria it's mm -hmm. going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Against Zambia is going to be tough. But we have what it takes to get so the your points. Toby is still confident. I, I sounded the same way before I left for Rio with the national under twenty twenty team. But it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Let's keep the spirit of, of optimism going. We'll go on a quick break. When we come back the show will still continue more stories to be reviewed. So I'm going to go right back. <laughs> 